If you've watched a couple of my videos, you might remember a stream I made a few months ago. I was super excited about ChatGPT and I used it to create some brand new teams for Creator Club. Well today, we're going one further. I'll be using ChatGPT to pick everything from its own tactics to its own starting 11 and I'll be directly competing against it to see if it's better at FIFA than I am. After we both set up our teams, we'll be running some CPU versus CPU games where the only difference between our teams will be the selection and tactics that we both pick. To make it fair, I'll also be choosing my tactics first so I can't adapt to what the AI picks. Who knows, maybe this could be a way to make FIFA career mode more fun. If it proves to be a competitive way of playing FIFA, maybe you'll want to do it for every single game you play in career mode. So let's get started, what team will we be using? And rather than picking a random one or picking one ourselves, let's ask ChatGPT to pick an international team for us both to use. Cool, so we'll be playing England versus England, a team of course I know lots about and hopefully one that's quite strong for the AI as well. So over to my tactics. We'll go for a 4-1-4-1 with the goal of getting our midfielders to run beyond Harry Kane. We'll have Saka and Rashford on the wing. We'll have Rice holding in midfield in front of Walker, Stones, Maguire and Luke Shaw with Jordan Pickford in goal. But before we look at ChatGPT's team selection, I'd like to say thank you to Top11 for sponsoring today's video. If you're bored of playing against the same AI on FIFA like I am, then Top11 might be perfect for you. As a free-to-play football management game where you compete with human managers from around the world, you can now fully customise your club from tactics, formation and stadium to jersey, emblem and a lot more. Top 11 has now been played by 260 million players worldwide and is celebrating their 13th birthday which is super rare for a mobile game. They're going to celebrate by releasing a unique in-game jersey and emblem, some resource giveaways for the community in Top 11, and also with the first ever Assist Rush event, the Unite Cup, and a lot of fun celebration themed challenges with great rewards coming out very soon. Now really is the perfect time to play Top 11, and you can see if you're the next Jose Mourinho or Chabi Alonso by clicking the link below or scanning the QR code to check out Top 11. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. So back to FIFA, our AI is actually going for a 4-3-3 formation with a focus on possession based football. They're starting Ramsdale in goal with a back four of Shaw, Maguire, Stones and Walker. A questionable midfield three as well with Mount, Henderson and Phillips starting in midfield. And then with a front three of Rashford, Kane and Bakayo Saka probably in a very advanced free role. So we're going to try and play three games against the AI. In this match they're playing in red, we're playing in white. I was quite surprised at the midfield they put out, but it seemed like it was working to be honest because they did only take them 5 minutes to score, Bukayo Saka scoring a nice rebound there, a goal that would put ChatGPT FC 1-0 up after just 5 minutes. We'd have our own attacks, we were actually playing quite a different style of football, we were trying to get our midfielders into the box, we were trying to get Harry Kane to be playmaking, it didn't really work but they had a really deep defence. I'm not sure if ChatGPT was expecting we would be playing quite an attacking style of football, but the move from 60 to 50 depth seemed like it absolutely worked for ChatGPT. We would score a goal here, Phil Foden doing exactly what we put him centre mid to do, burst into the box and fire home a finish. But it was actually really tough for us to make too many other chances. Harry Kane was the biggest playmaker but he didn't really like doing long passes. He would instead just try and lay it off to the likes of Bellingham. Maybe we should have gone for a more direct pacey striker because that did seem to be working for ChatGPT. They would have Henderson, Phillips and Mount all just like bursting into the box just as well as Bellingham and Foden were doing. I mean right here you saw all three of them link up, a nice bit of dribbling from Henderson found Phillips and his pullback was scored by Mason Mount. Mason Mount was involved in their next chance as well, setting up this pass to Rashford. He would dribble like a madman, there'd be absolutely no defending, maybe that's our tactics doing that and Henderson would finish off the move. So just after 30 minutes we were already 3-1 down. I can't believe how well their midfield worked. I don't know if ChatGPT is secretly some kind of footballing mastermind and this is how England can win the World Cup. It was like his team had Vieira, Makaleli and Patrick Vieira in it. It was absolutely insane and no matter what we did, we couldn't seem to actually break through at the other end. We'd have players like Bellingham doing his tricks into the box, pulling it back to Saka to Kane, but still nothing would come of the chance. Maguire would always be in the way thanks to that insane depth 
that the AIs England were playing. We had a ton of chances to try and get a second goal and maybe get back into the game, but it seemed like no matter what we did, a chance would either break down, be blocked or saved by Ramsdale. Harry Kane couldn't do it, Rashford couldn't do it, Declan Rice couldn't do it, and Kyle Walker couldn't do it. So the game would actually end with a 3-1 victory to ChatGPT, something that honestly I'm pretty embarrassed about. So let's switch to France. They've got a massive squad with loads of depth, and that means we can pick two very different teams depending on what the AI chooses. Hopefully we don't go 2-0 down in this best of three because that would mean AIs are actually better than me at FIFA, and I'm not ready to accept that just yet. We went the other way for our team this time. We went for full pace, we went 4-2-4, and we were just gonna try and play as wide as possible and get some balls put into the box. Kamavinga and Chuameni in midfield should compete with basically anything that AI was gonna put out. And then Komen, Mbappe, Griezmann, and Diaby is a super creative front four, and hopefully we could finally make some chances and put them away. Let's see what tactical masterclass the AI or ChatGBT is going to pick this time. So they've gone the same goalkeeper. They've put Kingsley Coman at left back with Hernandez in centre back. It's a very FIFA move. Rabio and Chuameni in midfield. Fair enough. And Barpi Griezmann and Colo Mouani on the wing. A very fast attack. And then they've got Olivier Giroud up front. Their attack does make a lot of sense. They've got a creator, two fast wingers, and a big guy up front. The defense doesn't make a huge amount of sense. I'm not sure why Kingsley Coman's playing at fullback, but still, we'll try and exploit that as soon as we can. Once again, we're in the home kit, the blue, white, and red, and Chachi BTFC is in white, blue, and white. So our Kingsley Coman's actually playing left wing, whereas theirs is at left back. So unfortunately, they won't be playing against each other. But you can see our style of football we're trying to play here, getting some passes in around the box and Griezmann hitting the post already. Mbappe for us seemed like he was a bit more focused on just doing tricks rather than running with the ball or hitting passes or anything, you know, that would actually help us win the game, except for this pass right here to Griezmann. But it seemed like another one of those games where the ChatGPT goalkeeper was absolutely on fire. I don't think Komen as a fullback is quite as bizarre as the midfield three he picked for England, but Komen did actually make quite a few important tackles, including that one right there, when it looked like Griezmann could pull the ball back and maybe get us 1-0 up. We were getting a consistent amount of corners thanks to Mike Mannion making constant wonder save after wonder save. But yet again, Kingsley Coman would be involved in saving another goal. Maybe this is the absolute right decision, and it's yet another tactical masterclass from ChatGPT. You could see he was involved right there, passing the ball to Mbappe. Griezmann doing some tricks into the box, holding off our defender, and Giroud nearly finishing off the exact plan that ChatGPT would have had when it put out this team. Upakamano found Mbappe in the box after a corner. He dribbled like ours tries to do, but unfortunately usually just runs off the pitch. And then Griezmann would find the top corner. So ChatGPT was already 1-0 ahead and we needed to score. Otherwise, we were going to lose to an AI twice in a row. The counter-attacking style was working really well for ChatGPT FC and it looked like Griezmann had scored again. At halftime, I wanted to know why Komen was playing at left back. The mastermind himself said, whoops, that was a mistake. Why don't you put Olivier Giroud at centre back instead? And guess what? He was an absolute rock. Here he is stopping Diaby. I'm not sure why it works, but somehow every single decision ChatGPT seems to make is spot on. Koundé playing at right back with Link with Kingsley Coman, who is now playing at right wing, and that substitution found a goal. So not only did he stop a goal with putting Giroud at centre back, he then created a goal by putting Kingsley Coman back to right wing. What an absolute genius chat GPT is. Speaking of geniuses, our best player, of course, Kylian Mbappe, decided he needed to beat Koundé so much that he just straight up ran off the pitch. And that pretty much sums up this version of France that we've put out. I'm not sure why Mbappe was so bad, but I think if I had to rate him from this game, I would give him a 0 out of 10. The only similarity between the two Frances on the pitch was that Griezmann was by far the best player. His free kick back there gave us a little bit of hope that maybe we could at least get a 3-2 and have it a bit closer than last game. But as we wasted our last two chances, the game would end 3-1 and humans had definitely lost to robots. I'm not saying ChatGPT is absolutely amazing at FIFA. In fact, I'm probably saying that it's me that's really bad at making tactics. However, if you do maybe want to make your career mode a little bit harder, you could easily do this. 
I'll copy and paste some of the prompts and how I set this up in the comments below. So make sure you check out that pinned comment if you're interested in doing something like this for yourself. Thank you for watching. Hopefully it was at least entertaining, even if it wasn't the exact result that I wanted to watch. And thank you for watching. Cheers and goodbye.